a Greek-flagged oil tanker called So Union caught fire after being targeted by Houthi militants in Yemen earlier in the week. The crew had abandoned the tanker, which appeared to be drifting aimlessly in the West Sea. The reasons surrounding the fires are unknown, and the Houthis have yet to acknowledge the occurrence. The Houthi rebels are suspected of targeting at least one other vessel, which sank as part of their ongoing campaign against shipping in the Red Sea, which is linked to what's happening in Gaza. The attacks have caused a major disruption to a vital commercial corridor that normally handles $1 trillion worth of commodities annually. The United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations Center of the British military acknowledged the flames and issued a warning. The ship appears to be drifting, and the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations Center reported that three fires had been seen on board. Speaking anonymously, owing to the sensitive nature of the information, a U.S. defense official acknowledged that American officials were aware of the fires and were keeping a careful eye on the situation. According to the European Union's Aspice Naval Operation in the Red Sea, the crew of the oil tanker So Union, which is carrying 150,000 tons of crude oil and included 25 Filipinos and Russians, as well as four private security personnel, was evacuated to Djibouti by a French destroyer. The mission has issued a warning that the vessel poses both a navigational and environmental risk, encouraging everyone in the area to take caution and avoid any acts that could exacerbate the situation. In a video that the Houthis posted, an explosion is seen striking the So Union. Using drones and missiles, the Houthis have attacked more than 80 vessels. Four sailors have died as a result of their seizure of one ship and sinking of two others. After a previous strike, they forced the crew to evacuate the ship. The Houthis have planted explosives on the Tudor, one of the sunken ships, causing it to sink. A coalition led by the United States has intercepted several missiles and drones, and others have not succeeded in reaching their targets.